This is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover data validation in Microsoft Excel. I don't want people putting in bad information. That would mess up your sorting, subtotaling, pivot tables, and a lot of other stuff. For example, I don't want someone coming in here and typing in production because we don't have a production department. So simply highlight your header row and all the departments below it. Copy. You don't have to put on a new worksheet, but I prefer that you do, so paste them onto a new worksheet. Notice the header row is still highlighted. I need to get rid of all the duplicate departments right now. So on the Data tab, Remove Duplicates. It picks up Department, which is the header row. Click OK. So it got rid of all my duplicates. You don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and sort A to Z. So now they're in the correct order. Highlight A2 to A9. Notice I didn't pick up the header row because I'm going to name this range DEPT. I'm going to abbreviate department. You can name it whatever you want. You just cannot have spaces in a named range. So there's my named range department. I'm not going to do it, but you could rename this worksheet. I'm going to go back to my employee data. I'm going to highlight the range where I would continue to type departments. Back to the data tab, data validation. Instead of allowing any value, make it a list. And your source is simply equals and your named range, which is DEPT. Click OK. So now when someone comes in to put in new information, They'll have a drop down arrow and there are your departments. If you type in something that's not part of the data validation, Microsoft Excel will give you an error message. So that is how you create a data validation in Microsoft Excel. Thank you for your time.